So across the street from the South Hall. Mm -hmm. Gotta say, it is large and in charge, but it looks like we got some, whoa, double Robin. We got double Robin on the screen, okay. Okay, uh, a blast from the past, I, I guess. Yeah, I mean, a blast from the lower part of the tier <laughs> Oh, damn, bro. Charles. <laughs> that, that, no, that was Chuck Nasty. That, that wasn't I mean, Charles. <laughs> I, very impressive. Very impressive. And maybe Robin definitely, we talked about lower tier characters thriving in that doubles environment. Sure, right? sure. Robin could be it because you got these large hitboxes that are very active with the Levin Sword, right? Hits very, very hard. So And they cover each other well. You know, yep. when, when yep. one's uh, tools are finite, the other one can step in and say, hey, I got you. Go ahead and, you know, get yourself back in order. Um, I've... I've always been 50-50 on Min Min and Dub. There are times where I really, really like her as a character, and then there are times where I'm like, you just you, you can't swing. You literally can't swing because you have to worry about hitting your teammate. Right, um, right. I know she does have some up close and personal options. I know like the general consensus that she can't fight up close is not true. You know, you have Nair, which I believe uh, Ram Ram being the fastest, but you know the Megawatt being the safest of, of you know the three. Um, you have up smash. You know, you got you got a lot of options. She she can tangle. Oh, for sure. And, and as long as no, I mean, Yurne is staying very, very far away from, I believe, his Parmesan on the Min Min here. Mm -hmm. So, as long as you know how, what level to stay on, right? Because Min Min on the ground, you jump, you should be good to swing. The Min Min should be good to swing. So, right. I think on, at surface level, it might be hard, but once you kind of get it down with your teammate, it might be a little bit easier to navigate as a Min Min player. Yeah, because, you know, I think there's going to be a lot of times where Rob is going to stay stationary. Again, you're going to shoot a projectile, I'm going to swing, I'm down to figure out who's going to win what and how. But um, you know, you just don't have the mobility to really get around the arm. So I guess that's what we've seen us for. You know, she has her nair, you know, frame six on that first hit, got down to, got her jab. I mean, she's her normals are kind of cracked. Let's just be honest. So yeah, I, I think Lucina, another character that's very similar to a character like Palutena, is a very, very above average doubles character. One of the better ones to do it for sure. And this is loser semi, so this will be best of five here. Yeah, hundred percent. It's like going back and forth, but it is red team with the stock advantage for stocks to three right now. Okay. Nice to go for the back throw. Quick back throw as well. So that's one of the luxuries I think Lucina has that you know her throw animations aren't the longest. So she can kind of get in, bust it up, and then get up out of there. Oh, can you get the save though? Has the double jump, the directional air dodge. And it looks like get a stock. To the teammate here for Team Robin. Two socks to four, though. Looking really rough here. Barely avoiding the edge guard, and it looks like Parmesan going to get back on the stage here. Oh, man, this is looking tough. Yeah, yeah off stage again. Oh, man. Not quite able to make this comeback. And ignore that station. Oh, huh? Trying to get some style points, okay? Style never hurt. I mean, you guys got four socks, I guess. Okay, now not going for the dares this time, just going for these nares. Trying to rinse and repeat. Tech chase, okay, just gonna go for the normal get up, hit off stage, and make it back on. Okay. You still have to respect Robin in a lot of ways. Those aerials are not to be taken lightly. Nice, off the mark with the dash attack. And then looking up for the reverse, a tough read right there, but even if the read didn't work, you have coverage with your teammate. Great stuff, nice. Smooth stuff. You know, here I was, you know, kind of worried about Min Min and doubles, but definitely getting it done. And I also want to correct myself as well, too. I believe Power Dragon is actually the safest of the Nairs, only by just a frame. And then it's the Megawatt. And then oh, it Powered on. Up Dragon. Powered Up, yes. Yeah, it yeah, is, after yeah. The and then it, it trails on. But yeah. My bad. I forgot that there is a different one. Little between variables, those two. yeah. Yep, 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 yep. You got but all yeah. these different arms. You got some different version of each arm, you know? Like. Yep, yep. Forget she is still DLC, so she has a lot to her, you know, just in terms of her mechanics. But yes, nonetheless, though, uh, we see how that one played out. You know, Mimmin definitely has a firm place, I think, in doubles. I think double Robin is very good on paper. But again, that's, you know, of course, hoping that your opponent is going to play your game. You know, we have two characters like Lucina and especially Mimmin that can swing much further than you can. Um, obviously, no projectiles really. Um, obviously, Dragon Breath is technically a projectile. But, you know, physically, you're sheesh being, laser. Yeah, sheesh, you're being outswung physically. And so. Now you have to use your mobility. You have to jump over some of these options. You have to try to work around it inadvertently, and it just didn't quite pay off in game one. All right, we'll see if we stick it with the tried and true, the double Robin team that got you this far. Will you waver now? No. Double Robin still coming in for this game number two. It's the Robins, keeping up with the Robinsons. Yeah, trying to keep up with this. I mean, not too much DLC on the other side of the screen, but. No, no, not at all. 
Got the one classic and one DLC. Min Min, obviously one of the stronger characters in the game currently. That's right. That's gonna go for the arc fire in the corner. Spike anything off it, and yes, just always being able to push. And I'm a little worried right now too, because you know the longer Robin spins off stage, the more of their tools they're having to expend to get on. You know, I, I much prefer Robin, I, as I'd imagine the Robin players would as well, on stage in a more stationary sort of uh, format. But you no, know, little, little off the mark here. Little mispositioned, if you will. Gonna go deep. Doesn't get anything off it and lay on the down there, but definitely shades of what's probably to come. Yeah, great recovery. Oh, but do you have a jump? No, immediately goes in to the up B. The Sheesh Laser not Ooh. going to connect here. And now Mimin on the ledge. Scrambling back and forth here. Mimin has taken quite a bit of damage, even though we've seen Mimin doing quite a bit of the hitting as well. Oh my goodness, can you make it back? Barely, yeah. Okay. Oh, okay, out to the magnifying glass. I like that a little bit of delay on the recovery. Gonna go deep there that time. They're having to time both parts of uh, Robin's Uppy. Never been the easiest thing to do. You definitely don't want to be on the receiving end. I believe, is it the first hit of the Uppy or the second hit that is the spike on Robin? Uh, I, always, I always forget. I, I think it's the first hit. First one? Okay, so yeah, I'm not 100% sure, but I think it's the first Okay, the initial take off. So you don't, definitely don't want to be up underneath it as well, too. So I can imagine just being a little haphazard on going out there versus Robin, but nope. still got it. Still got to get it done right here. Even stocks across the board. Yeah, it's a lot better than game number one. No slight lead coming in to this mid game for the red team here. Blue team making it work a little bit harder, but we got one of the Robins. 125% bleeding a little bit more than some of the others on the screen right now. That's right. Oh, and going deep for the KO there that time. Run off Nair, smooth. Back row, get off of him. Go for the throw on there that time. And again, this is kind of where Robin gets to shine a little bit. Just being able to apply pressure from the other side of the room. I do know that Mimin swings very long. I'd imagine if she stood at the edge of the stage, her arm would probably hit more towards center stage. But um, and again, when I can toss out Thoron before you can even swing, I feel like I'm in a little bit of an advantage here. All right, three stocks apiece here. Oh, still made it back. Both players going offstage, trying to go really hard for this minimum, trying to wipe uh -huh. out the stock and actually getting reversed in the situation. This is huge for the red team right now. That's going to be such a huge break. Yeah. Nice. Oh, it is the first one. It is the first one. That, that was a smooth angle. Look for the first hit of up B. Knowing that the second one wouldn't even come out. Just looking for the spike there that time. Very, very sneaky option. A lot of nares out of shield here. Yeah, we see the red team really just anytime we got Min Min charging a smash attack on the ground. You just see Lucina kind of lurking, trying to go for the downer, try to end it in style. And it's red team very dominating first two games. We're going to have a 3 0 sweep on our hands here. Yeah, you know, I would hate to see it. You know, again, me being a doubles enthusiast, I certainly want to see more games. But uh, this one's it's, it's a tough one, man. It's certainly a tough one. one. It's looking rough right now. Double Robin, I love the idea behind it. You know, I think both of those two characters. Good characters in singles, you know, given the right, right matchup in doubles, I think it could be certainly dangerous, but I think it's one of the few times where it's still match super matchup dependent. You know, you're going up against, you know, you got Lucina who can, I mean, they're normals. Once I break that that projectile zone that you're trying to build up, you don't want to tangle with me in that regard. Then you got Min Min, I'm pushing you off stage. And yeah. it's not to say Rob has a bad recovery, but the goal is to just not even be off stage like that. Right, right. And it's, it's so hard because Robin, very slow character, and really your best bet is extending your range with some of your spells, right? So we don't really get to see too much of that come into play here. And honestly, just Lucina and Min Min covering so much more space. I mean, we've, we've had scenarios where Synergy and Grandmaster get really, really close, but Parmesan and Yurne doing a really good job, man, of just holding it down. And on the shots of Yurne on the Lucina, just knowing when and where to play around the Min, Min like you that's said. Right, right? That's right, that's uh, right. Obviously, Min, Min takes up a lot of room in terms of hitboxes, but that isn't always a good thing in doubles, right? No, sometimes not. your hitboxes are a little too large. Yeah, sometimes you just, you're wilding a little bit, and I think Min, Min is certainly a, a you know person that kind of leans into that. But however, uh, you know, when Min, Min is certainly playing very well, like especially what we've seen in game number one, just like how quick it was and how easy it was to get both Robin players off stage. Um, that's certainly what you look for. Then you got stuff like this. She has the ability to shimmy. I mean, and that right there, I mean, that already just puts you kind of a step ahead of most characters in this game. Most characters can't swing and move at the same time. Oh, yeah. That's why characters like Min Min or Steve, 
If you can do an attack and move at the same time, you are eating good. Yes. It is an amazing tool to have in Smash Brothers. You can abuse so many things and kind of like take some shortcuts around a lot of rules too. That's fast, bro. As you can see right there, just swinging and moving forward. Nice one to go for dash attack here this time, but Lucina, of course, trying to bust up the party. Does not seem to matter. And then nice. Gonna go for the rising up air. Right at the ledge of the stage. I keep trying to tell people you don't want to see Robin in the air. It is ill advised. Is there a double jump? And the answer is no. Finishing off the edge guard. Great stuff coming out from the red team there. Got to make some bold moves to make this comeback. And it looks like that's what's going on right now. Four stocks to two. Wow. Now two stocks to four. Wow. Red team really turning things around here in this game three. I feel like it's just so easy to do, especially when both Robins want to back off. It's, it's almost like Steve in a way where I want to get my tools together. I want to charge. You know, I want to do these things. Right. I want to disengage. Both characters can't disengage at the same part of the stage. We're starting to see that happen a lot now. You know, one's on the top platform. Maybe both are in the corner. And it's like, okay, Dragon Breath, bro. Like, she's laser. That's fine, bro. Okay, you're in. Armadron have... Really great team setup as well. Look at that, just gonna go ahead and go for some of these shield poke setups as well. Trying to catch the jump or just get the straight shield poke off of some of these posts. Hey, Spider-Man's not doing so well right here in whatever universe we're in. Hey man, Can maybe change up another universe? I guess Maybe so. it's not always the PS2 universe, is that what you're trying to I say? I think so. I think we need to, if not look at a new timeline, just look at a whole new universe together. Oh yeah, there it is, the drop. Can't do much about that one. Oh. Oh, we spoke too soon. Back into the, the corner. And early on the down or two, probably expecting a, 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 a it, 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 it don't matter. Okay, and damn. we out. Spider Punk, not bad. Hey. Love, love the cosplay. Fourth place with double Robin. I got to give it up. I got to yeah. give it up, man. That's right. That, that ain't Amazing nothing stuff. but the low it. <laughs> Amazing stuff coming out. We got some cosplay action as well. You love to see it. If you guys love cosplay, obviously make your way out here to Level Up Expo because there's a lot of that going on as well. Oh, yes. Well. Oh, yes. I'm actually a little upset I didn't bring my cosplay this year. I think I did um, I did Loki last year. Oh, TV, yeah, so I remember. I did Jacket I remember, yeah. And, yeah, that's kind of just like really my only go-to. So, um, hey, man. Yeah. Everyone's got a go-to. Got a go-to, man. Go They're pretending to be a commentator. I'm kidding. But all jokes 